Hey guys, it's Eddie the Magic Monk again doing another electrical circuits tutorial. Today we're going to talk about multiple components in series and what happens to the current in those situations. Okay, so firstly let's talk about um, if I haven't explained it yet. A series circuit just means that the electrons only have one possible path to flow. So for example, if you guys remember our um, default circuit, we have a battery or a power supply and let's say we have a single light bulb in the circuit going back to the beginning. The only way that the electrons can flow is in this path. Okay, it flows all the way through the bulb and back to the battery. Okay, so the electrons have no other possible um, choice but to flow this in this way. Okay, from the negative to the positive terminal. So that's a series circuit. Um, another possibility which we will introduce later is a parallel circuit in which case the electrons have multiple paths that they could flow in, but we'll talk about that later. Okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is what happens when there are multiple components. Because so far, all the practice questions we have done, there is only one component, um, such as one light bulb or one resistor. So now we're going to talk about what happens when there are two or more components. So let's draw a circuit again and this time we are going to connect um, let's say a resistor okay a resistor and a light bulb together in one circuit um, back to the beginning okay actually I'll just draw that better now let's introduce you guys to a device called the ammeter. Okay, the ammeter. Now the ammeter is a component that is used to measure the current. And it's called an ammeter because current is measured in amps. Okay, and the symbol for an ammeter is just a circle with an A inside. Now, an ammeter is always connected in series. In series with other components. So what that means is, um, if I was going to put an ammeter in this um, circuit, okay, I would... Um, put it right next to the resistor okay so let's say I want to put it here I'll just uh, put it right here okay I can insert an ammeter here so it is in series with the resistor because the current has to pass through the ammeter to get to the resistor okay so it is connected in series with the resistor the current has no other option so um, if you guys have seen the ammeter in real life um, you can probably just google image ammeter to see it um, it also has a positive and a negative terminal so in order for it to work what happens is the negative terminal of the battery has to connect to the negative terminal of the ammeter and the positive terminal of the ammeter has to lead back to the positive terminal of the battery so that's how you connect it up okay now let's put um, three ammeters so when you have multiple ammeters in a circuit, okay, you can label them as A1, 
So I'm going to now call this A1, A2, and A3. So I've moved the light bulb up here so you can see it. So basically the current moves through ammeter 1, gets a resistor, gets to ammeter 2, and then gets to the light bulb, and then gets to ammeter 3, and all the way back to the positive terminal of the battery. Now let's talk about the current that is flowing through the circuit. So current um, in uh, series circuit, which is this one right here, is the same at any point in the circuit. So, what does that mean? In the circuit, not circle. So what that means is, if the current is, let's say, 2 amps at A1, okay, so if you guys remember, current is the amount of charge flowing past the point over a period of time. So what 1 amp represents is 1 coulomb per second. Okay, 1 coulomb of charge flowing past a point in the circuit per second. And in this case, it's 2 coulombs flowing past a point per second. Now, current in a series circuit is the same at any point in the circuit. So, uh, if A1 measures 2A, that means A2 must also measure 2A and A3 must also measure 2A. All right? They must always be the same when they're in a series circuit. So, here is the reasoning behind that. If you guys remember um, last lesson we talked about having a mountain and water is flowing down from the top of the mountain or not a mountain just some sort of uh, slope okay a uh, waterfall okay so the water is flowing down and we talked about the current can be represented by the water flow which is how much water is flowing past a point per second how much water flows past a point per second now imagine okay if I now instead of having just one big hill going down okay I have a hill and then a flat portion and then a hill again okay and the water is flowing down the water is flowing down this hill sorry I should have drawn that in blue now water is flowing past flow, water is flowing down this hill. Now it doesn't matter where you measure the water flow. You can measure at this point here, you can measure at this point here, you can measure at this point here. It's going to give you the same water flow. So you can imagine this first slope before it gets to the flat section is where the resistor is using the energy. Okay, so the resistor, let's call this section 1. Section 1, the water is um, losing potential energy. Well, potential energy is lost after this section when the water flows down. And then over here, the ground is flat. So no water, no potential energy is lost, and then the water starts 
falling again so potential energy um, is used again and that's section 2 and potential energy is used over here where the light bulb is okay now it doesn't matter where you measure the flow rate the flow rate of the water is the same doesn't matter where you measure it okay so that's the reason behind why current in a series circuit is the same at any point in the circuit